Hey friends, in this video I'm going to go over your study guide for Monday, January 27th. Here are all of the answers to numbers 1 through 8. I'm going to go over each problem individually, but if you want to pause it and check your answers first, and then follow along on the ones that you need help on. Alright? Alright, so for problem number 1, it is an addition problem, which means we need to find the LCD. We're looking for the LCD between 3 and 4. Four. So we're going to say 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. And then we're going to find the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, stop. We found our LCD, our least common denominator, and it's 12. So I'm going to rewrite my fractions vertically. 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. And now I'm going to make those equivalent fractions with a denominator of 12. To go from fourths to twelfths, I need to multiply by three. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. One times three is three. To go from thirds to twelfths, I need to multiply by four. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Two times four equals eight. Now I have common denominators, so I can add eight twelfths plus three twelfths, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It gives me eleven twelfths. That's our answer for number one. Moving on to number two, it's another addition problem, so we do need to find the LCD. We're looking for the LCD of 5 and 10. We say 5, 10, stop. We found that LCD, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, it's 10. We're going to rewrite it vertically, 3 fifths plus 2 tenths, and we're going to find those equivalent fractions with a denominator of 10. To go from tenths to tenths, I multiply by 1. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. 2 times 1 is 2. To go from fifths to tenths, we multiply by 2. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. 3 times 2 is 6. Now I have common denominators, so I can add 6 tenths. Plus 2 tenths equals 6, 7, 8 tenths. I see that my numerator and denominator are both even, so I can divide by 2 to simplify my fraction. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So my answer of 8 tenths simplifies down to 4 fifths. That's your answer for number 2. Moving on now to number 3. It is a subtraction problem with mixed numbers. It's a subtraction problem, so I do need to find that LCD. I'm finding the LCD of 3 and 4, so I find the multiples. 3, 6, 9, 12, 4, 8, 12, and stop. We've done it once, so you should have known that the LCD is 12. We're going to rewrite those fractions vertically, making sure we line up our whole numbers with our whole numbers and our fractions with our fractions. We're going to create those equivalent fractions with a denominator of 12, just like we did before. Fourths to twelfths times 3. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. 1 times 3 is 3. Thirds to twelfths times 4. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. 2 times 4 is 8. Now I have common denominators, so I can subtract 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths, 8, 7, 6, 5 twelfths. Don't forget those whole numbers. 4 minus 1 is 3, which gives us an answer of 3 and 5 twelfths. Number 4 is another subtraction problem with mixed numbers, so we're going to find the LCD. We're finding the LCD of 6 and 12, so we say 6, 12, and stop. We found the LCD easy peasy, it's 12. We're going to rewrite our fractions vertically, making sure that we are subtracting, and then create those equivalent fractions with a denominator of 12. To go from twelfths to twelfths, we multiply by 1. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. 3 times 1 is 3. To go from six to twelfths, we multiply by 2. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. 1 times 2 is 2. Now I can subtract 2 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. No, I can't. 2 is smaller than 3, so we say stop, regroup. We're going to regroup that 3, take a whole out, turn it into 2. We're going to add our whole over here. We want to add our whole with a denominator of 12. Therefore, our numerator must also be 12 in order to keep it one whole. 2 twelfths plus 12 twelfths gives me a total of 14 twelfths. I can now say 14 twelfths minus 3 twelfths, 14, 13, 12, 11 twelfths. Go to my whole numbers. I only have two whole because I did regroup one. So 2 minus 1 is 1. Gives me an answer of 1 and 11 twelfths. Moving on now to number five, it is a multiplication problem. When multiplying fractions, we say multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, simplify if necessary. That's how you multiply fractions. So to multiply those numerators, we do say three times three equals nine. We multiply the denominator six times four equals 24. I notice that nine and 24 can both be divided by three, so I am gonna simplify it by dividing by three. Nine divided by three is three, 24 divided by three is eight. So my answer of 9 24 can be simplified down to 3 eighths. That's the answer to number 5. 
Number six, we did have an oops in case you didn't notice. I asked you to find the product, but then I gave you an addition problem. So I'm going to do it both ways because I do want you to have practice with multiplying mixed numbers, but I'm sure most of you solved this problem. So for the addition problem, we do need to find that LCD. We're finding the LCD of 2 and 4. We say 2, 4, stop. That's our LCD right there. We're going to write them vertically, 2 and 2 fourths plus 3 and 1 half, and make those equivalent fractions with a denominator of Four. We go from halves to fourths by multiplying what by two. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. One times two is two. To go from fourths to fourths, we multiply by one. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Two times one is two. Now we can add two fourths plus two fourths gives me a total of four fourths. Two plus three gives me a total of five. Five and four fourths can be simplified to make it six wholes because four fourths equals one whole. So when you add these fractions together, you do get six wholes. Now let's talk about multiplying. When we multiply mixed numbers, we would say multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, simplify if necessary. That's how you multiply fractions. But there's a problem. We don't just have numerators and denominators. We also have whole numbers. This makes us mad. Ugh. Multiply, add, denominator. What? That's right. We have to get mad on this problem. So we're going to say 4 times 2 equals 8. And then 8 plus 2 8, 9, 10, a denominator of 4. We're going to get mad on 3 and 1 half by multiplying 3 times 2 equals 6 and adding 6 plus 1 equals 7. Keep your denominator the same of 2. Now we can multiply the numerators and the denominators. We say 10 times 7 is 70. 4 times 2 is 8. We get the improper fraction of 70 eighths. But we do know that we can simplify it through division because fractions are division. This is the same thing as 70 divided by 8. 8 can go into 7 zero times. We subtract it, bring down our 0. 8 can go into 78 times. 8 times 8 is 64. Subtract, and we have 6 left over. To write this as a mixed number, we take our quotient as our whole, and our fraction is the remainder by the divisor. So we get 8 and 6 eighths. But I see that 6 and 8 are both even numbers, so I can divide by 2 to simplify it down even more. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So my simplified answer is 8 and 3 fourths. Again, I know most of you did this, but I did want to review how to multiply mixed numbers. Moving on now to the last two. Number 7, it is a division problem. When we divide, we say, keep the first fraction, keep it the same. Ain't no reason to alter its name. Change the op symbol, it says to divide. Change it around, multiply this time. Flip the last fraction, flip it around. Reciprocal works better, or so I have found. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, simplify if necessary. That's how you multiply fractions. We check it by saying if I start with a whole, I should end with a whole, and I did. Last problem on tonight's homework is another division problem. It's one-fourth divided by five. We would sing, keep the first fraction, keep it the same. Ain't no reason to alter its name. Change the op symbol, it says to divide. Change it around, multiply this time. Flip the last fraction, flip it around. Reciprocal works better, or so I have found. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. Simplify if necessary. That's how you multiply fractions. We check it by saying if I start with a fraction, I end with a fraction. And I do. And there you have it, our last problem. So here are the answers for you one more time. I hope this video helped. Go back through, watch it, slow it down, pause it if you need to. We'll go over these problems tomorrow in class. Don't forget your test is on Friday. See you tomorrow.